are immediately in peril. The vagina is acidic, so the sperm must escape or die. They start to swim, at least some of them. Even in a healthy man, 60% of the sperm can be less than perfect. Like this one, with two tails. For these guys, the journey is over. But what about the rest? What are the chances that one tiny sperm will reach and fertilize an egg? Sperm are often portrayed as brave little warriors forging their way through hostile terrain to conquer the egg. Nothing could be further from the truth. For every challenge the sperm face, success is to a great extent controlled by the woman's body and even the egg itself. Take the sperm's first obstacle, the cervix, passageway to the uterus. Most of the time, it's locked shut, plugged with mucus that keeps bacteria and sperm out. But for just a few days a month, around ovulation, the mucus becomes watery and forms tiny channels that guide the sperm through. Arriving inside the uterus, the sperm are still about six inches away from their goal, at least a two-day swim. But undulations of the uterine muscles propel the sperm into the fallopian tube within 30 minutes. Even a sperm that reaches the tube in record time has no guarantee of fertilizing an egg. There may be no egg there. Ovulation could still be days away. It's the slowpokes, caught up in the cilia lining the tube, who may have a better chance. It's probably here that chemicals in the woman's body alter the sperm's outer coating. Only those sperm that are altered can get a date with the egg. The sperm are released gradually over the course of a few days, so at any given time only a couple hundred sperm will move on. If all goes well, then farther up the tube, they'll find the egg. But it's heavily chaperoned by support cells. And the chaperones are picky. Only some of the sperm are let through. Those who make it will face yet another challenge. Underneath the cloud of cells, the egg itself is encased in a thick protein shell called the zona. To fertilize the egg, the sperm must break through the zona, but even the strongest can't do it by brute force alone. The egg demands a proper introduction. Proteins protruding from the sperm's cap must hook up precisely with a set of proteins on the egg's surface. If they match, the sperm is held fast and undergoes a dramatic transformation. It sheds its outer coating, releasing powerful enzymes that dissolve a hole in the zona, allowing the sperm to push its way through. The final hurdle passed, the sperm still does not thrust its way into the egg itself. Rather, the membranes of the two cells fuse, and the egg draws the entire contents of the sperm inside. I don't know, we weren't being as careful as we should have been, and October came around and there was a, a day late, and actually I was having some other problems with my, um, my wrist, and we went to the doctor, and the doctor had asked me, he was like, well, are you pregnant? You know, because he wanted to do an x-ray of my wrist. Yeah. And I said, no. And then I thought about it, and I was like, well, I don't know. I decided 
that I was better check this out. And sure enough, it was positive. And when he came home, I was like... I could tell she had something to tell me. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, um, so I was like, well, you better sit down. And he just... It was something that we had discussed. Yeah. But I hadn't anticipated until about two more years down the road. So when she told me, yeah, I was, I was ecstatic. We were ready. We were definitely ready.